nowadays. So need to bring that extra region. As soon as he hits level 2, they can start to play slightly more aggressive. I don't think Duraccio is going to die, but uh, yeah, Insania will get the solo kill on Tofu. Kind of surprising. <laughs> Celery playing that right side of the lane, but look at where Boxy set up here. Blood Grenade, Avalanche, Duraccio down to pretty much no mana remaining. He is handed over a little bit of regen and 3-3 three, three, gonna pop his stick. He's dead though. I don't get the kill on anybody. Sitting at half HP, no mana whatsoever. Oh, Celery. Surrounded by Eidolons there. Boxy finally cracking level 3, so they had that combo to toss them back. It matters, but they are eyeing on Duraccio. Boxy would definitely love to get the toss back onto the tower. There is no black hole available, but it will be soon. But Boxy gave him a lot of XP. Ace getting initiated on. Yeah, and he just made that move up top. A good lift to stop the blast off away. Tofu still survives, though, and able to turn here with Quinn's haste rune. They shred through Nisha. They split their efforts trying to kill a centaur and the techies at the same time. While down at bottom, 3 3 does bring Celery down. Difficult Nisha? to. Place that observer ward, right. but there is already sentry placed, and with the vision from Watcher, they will be able to be warded. This is what you want to see. Eight heroes mid. Yeah. Yeah, go for it. Get these fights going. Insania blasted and killed by Quinn and Tofu. Again, Gladiator is doing... Quinn could very easily be up in that top lane, but he's farming, being efficient, and also booting Mikke out of the lane. Forcing him to jungle, giving Ace a completely free lane to play into with that one little move. Yeah, you see Celery in Black the mid lane collecting XP, you know something's happening. There's that rotation from the Lash that we mentioned. Without Lash Rack, you definitely don't have the damage. And now Celery needs to run away. Stampede has been used, but it's not enough. So this should be the tower, and they can also potentially help out Mikke top. Blast off. Yeah, Mikke trying to turn and fight back nice. into Tofu with a reactive Boxy. taser. Boxy gonna help out, Tofu nearly dead, getting a bit of distance, but the tree toss is there. As Ace turns and stomps onto the TA, but a double kill emerges for Boxy. Save. Don't wanna exaggerate very too low. much, but uh, yeah, very low. Boxy and Nisha now smoking inside a triangle to try to steal some of the stacks, but there are no stacks. Tofu was trying to make one, caught in the act. Your desolation and, the world's and down he goes, his little invasion there up an ambush you can already see Nisha running away towards the top lane has TP ready and Miko steps up hits the centaur a couple of times they're playing aggressively onto ace here they saw that smoke coming nice, nice lift. lift off stops the blast off but Quinn is still charging forward the stolen plasma field good slow and damage onto Tofu and Quinn but they've got a static link on this Templar assassin Miko he's just dead up in this top lane if Boxy didn't have a TP available, he's so close to a Blink Dagger, this is going to be... He's going to have early... Now losing TA, but getting advantages elsewhere. This could be pretty big. Nisha does have Region Rune available in the bottle, which doesn't get cancelled ever since the last change to the Region Rune. Plus, picked up a casual Voodoo Mask. I don't think Ooh. we see that. So, he's going to be life-stealing a lot. I just blow up Ace. Blink debut out of Boxy. That's yes, the catch on the centaur, and now it looks like another tier one tower for Liquid. They fall so quickly. Edict, Eidolons. Pushing out that top lane with Blink on Enigma. They want a fight up there, but Mikke is the one that's being surrounded over in his own ancient spot. Celery comes in from behind, Tofu over the top. Every angle and axis you look at, it's Game Gladiator is bringing the numbers, not just to get the kill, but to clear the stacks as well. Mikke is bringing out the Observer Ward on the high run, where it's gonna, like, if you lose one fight, we're talking about these tier 2, tier 3 towers close to your base. This might be just lights out, or at least the start of it. Toss back. Nice. Great split earth as well. Boxy gonna get stunned up here. Cancel the TP when he saw it coming, but the black hole. Three threes on top of both of them. Razor being dragged back into the damage from the Lesh and Rubik. Stampede, does that buy him enough space? Boxy says no. Absolutely not. Shuts them down. Three kills in a row. Very well done by Liquid yet again. Now hunting again. Up in that top outer ring of jungle camps. They're going to spot that there's creeps missing and an illusion from Nisha sees Ace allowing Boxy to get in there with a stun. A steal on the double edge. Probably not what Insania wanted. But Ace is absolutely dead up here. 
surrounded by liquid heroes as they bring the numbers and they bring the tempo in this first 15 minutes it's going to be 12 to 5 a 7k lead emerging for team liquid and we talked about this in the pace of play and game gladiator is the one kind of left Ooh, responding trap. trying to figure out how they want to enter these fights trap scouted them and there's another trap boxy's in oh boxy straight back in again blows up tofu with insania and now Duraccio. Uh, what, what can Quinn do to save him? <laughs> that doesn't look like much. They're going to have to stone gaze and try and run away. Nice. He used Stolen. the split shot. <laughs> yeah. Insania the was dying blocks. on it. Boxy again. Wow, Not enough mana for got... a toss. They just gave him. Ooh, now they've got it. Toss it back into Mickey to finish off the Medusa. They started off with the body blocks out of 3-3's Eidolons. The chase is on towards that mid lane as well. Ma Stealing some of the stacks in the triangle. Misha and 33. Team Liquid, so far, playing without mistakes. They caught off Mickey one time, but these are the smoke ganks. Boxy's in again. Yeah. And Quinn, and he's trying to move forward here, but they've lost Celery. Not much Tofu can bring from the left-hand side. Tools ...that you want to buy into, but so far, every single time, Boxy manages to get out of the trouble. And going now in again, jump. another toss right back. back. Onto the raise of the toss back, you're right. Loads of damage out of Mickey with that melt strike. And then saying you have the stolen plasma field that you were talking about. So damage is not going to be there. At least no. from double edge. Nisha. Going for that tier 2 tower. Boxy's in again. Boxy's all over the place. <sighs> this guy. Oh, 99% of the time. You don't need the spell life steal. You don't need the life steal. It's more about the night, night vision. vision? So, he can, yeah. Yeah, so he can get those toss back. So he can see them. It's night time. He can just toss her back. Stone gaze used. 3 3 he's already spent his blink, but now we've got the plasma field, the telekinesis, trying to lift and drag people back into this fight as Nietzsche sprints forward into the depths of Gaming Gladiator's lines, blowing up Celery and Tofu as the support crumbles. 3 3 still has Black Hole, blink available enough. in a second, might not even need it as Liquid just running roughshod over Gaming Gladiators with a five man wipe incoming. They annihilate them one by one. They've tossed 3 3 away from danger as well. It is that it's necessary to bring the Gaming Gladiators down. 3-3 yeah, three, three last pick, Enigma. Another jump in from Boxy. Catching out Tofu's techies. And it's just quick and simple. For it's almost 3,000. So mm. quite difficult. But Scotty, great item if they can pick it up. Will reduce the healing that comes out from Leshrac. Uh, all three cores are ranged. Jump in again. Boxy, oh. toss back. Oh. Dead immediately. Oh. That's a centaur with max retaliate. Blade mail, level 11. Melt Strike minus armor just, just, just disintegrates him. And now they've got Edict with Deso hits onto this tier 3, forcing the glyph already. 23 minutes in, yes, Team Liquid. Regeneration rune. Oh, you're right. It's so a regen rune plus Aegis. And now the dive into base, blowing up the techies. A taste of his own medicine as Boxy goes deep. Oh, Boxy stopped off to the side, but he is stuck. He's got a Lotus to play with, a little bit of regen, but the rest of his team not going to be saving him. It looks like he's going to die, finally falling. Razor in trouble though, pops the Manta to get away from Nisha. Half HP on his left track now. All liquid, are they going to step too far? Bloodstone, they have the damage. Ace moving forward, other Nisha, life stealing back up with the Bloodstone, but dead nonetheless. Oh, not too bad. Oh. Is under a Signs of life. Rachos farming. Gladiators. Big old ancient stacks. As Tofu does get caught by Nisha. BKB timing's pretty important here for Liquid to try and keep Ooh, the ball rolling. Boxy knows. They just use the oh. scan. He caught You're Medusa, right. plants down OBS. Inside the, the ancient camp? He will find it. Toss onto the Rubik. And Duraccio being lifted and dragged around. Oh, wait, 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 where are you meant to go? The Stampede's there, but the Black Hole comes in 3-3. Says this Medusa is well worth my time, my cooldown. And all the effort will put into it. Another avalanche required as Duraccio will get cleared out by Nisha's magic damage. Dead for 50. Box is playing out of his freaking mind right now. Smoked up and trying to use this opening. They're up on the ramp in this bottom lane. Boxy's going to combo the Razor. Gets off the BKB though, Quinn. And a blink stomp from Ace going to catch out Insania. Rubik. That point of contact that they'll blow up and take down. While Boxy's, Boxy's in looks trouble. Like he's going to be the second casualty. A blast off and the damage from this Razor. Enough to take him out. And Templar Assassin. Oh, Nisha from the high ground. Can we get much done here? Enigma on the run, but the Blink Stomp comes. Another catch as Gaming Gladiator defend their base with numbers. 
And Team Liquid, again, just a, a bit over-eager to try and close this one out. Ogre Seal Totem back from the high ground. Nisha still getting tagged up, though. A lot of slows and control coming his way. Mekka and Nisha might have to stand and fight. A blink stomp from Centaur catching Lash. Life stealing back up a bit with a bloodstone, but when that comes to Mickey. an end, they've got tons of damage on the Lash rack. Mickey's trying to blow up Ace and Quinn, but they'll get the range around of there, just losing the Centaur. Blink's back to high ground, but the Glimmer came. Evading Mickey? the damage, and now Mickey <laughs> slowed down. He went back in aggressively. BKB TP looks like it should be successful at least. Okay, he won. You buy Butterfly, they buy MKB. If you have enough gold, you sell Butterfly and you buy AC instead. Yeah. <laughs> Boxy. He stampeded and caught down in the bottom lane. That TP. Optimistic. As he gets taken down. And with three. Looking for the wraparound. The backlines of Liquid here. A little exposed. Uh -oh, 33. 33. Three blinks away. Quick fingers. Gets out of the grasps of Quinn. They jump in with Ace, but the Avalanche toss out of Boxy. Clips onto the Centaur and the turnaround focus. Very good from Liquid to try and blow him up, but now they've got a Halberd. TA no longer able to dish out damage. And Nisha with his BKB, having that static link on him is kind of awkward. Mickey's stuck on the low ground in the water. Quinn, the black hole, 3-3, three, three, he's in. The two cores caught up in it, and Mickey just unloads the damage. Takes out Quinn and Duraccio, no mana remaining. He's in the Midnight Pulse and being obliterated. Liquid finally get another big black hole to secure a team fight victory. Surprisingly enough, it's insane that grabs the double kill. Tofu gonna get found here by boxing Mickey. A bounty rune for his troubles, but dead nonetheless. As Roshan, the pit. And the bottom right corner belongs to Liquid with some great back and forth. Team is pushing, bullying, trying to start fights. And you're just like, I'm jungling and I'm TPing top. I'm going to push out top wave, guys. There's farm to be gathered up. I'm fourth in net worth as an enigma. That's just not allowed. Another jump in from Boxy. Blink toss back. Melt strike damage onto Quinn. They've got to jump onto Mickey's TA. But again, protection from Liquid. Four staffing, drifting people out of danger. Forcing Duracho here to come out of the base and pop the Manta style. Damage from TA, not going to come fast enough for the toss back. Yet again, Medusa being focused. And another mana. strike. A move from Nisha. Mana is all gone. All Has the mana gone. Second, but three threes here. Big black, black hole. hole. Secures the kill onto Duraccio, it looks like. Hang on. He's healing back up a little bit. Nisha not able to get the job done. Black hole didn't take down the Medusa. She's back towards Fountain, but they'll get the Centaur now at the very least. Mickey still moving forward, looking at Quinn. Plasma field in. But Team Liquid. They've got to fall back and just hit them. Get both of them. The top lane's also open as well. Box, he's going to use this opportunity to go on Quinn. Oh, the Box tremendous overwhelming damage, but he's still not dead. Tanks through the rest of it. Ace is in again. Yours into the sky and the kill off Boxy now. Tiny does die, but it forced the buyback out. And if she dies here with his toss back into the black holes, that could have been lights out. But back to live. Nisha and Mickey, they're onto Tofu. A kill on the techies is imminent dead as he hits the ground buybacks available might have to use it here a salary the second support also going to fall and coincides nicely with roshan timing but it looks like liquid wanting to go for enemy base the jugular is exposed with two heroes dead razor has buyback they have, they have to buy whoever has buyback available salary's buyback is Ooh. ready pretty gold mickey he's too quick for them ace tried to jump on in so many Yules and Wind Wakers send people skywards and he's destroyed. Even through the Stampede and now a black hole right onto Quinn's Razor. He's down and out. Buyback is available for him, but the focus shifts very quickly over to the Medusa now. 33 with a refresh back up. Another black hole. He's Medusa's not even looking it. at her. You can't do a damn thing. The no-look black hole. Gorgeous stuff. Gaming Gladys come out of their base to try to chase down Nisha, but another Wind Waker back to the sky over the cliffs far away. He's safe and sound. <laughs> Where is she? As Mickey turns on the Medusa. <laughs> Everybody's everywhere. Liquid is running rampant over gaming gladiators here in game one and forcing those G's to come out in the old chat. For the cuddle. What is erosion in this one? Stopping the healing. I guess that's why you picked Spirit Vessel. So you have like two really early tools. Duraccio Tower Ooh. is hitting him. Can he heal him up? Doesn't seem like it. And this might be another one if he can hit another torrent in two seconds. Tether to, to creep, the left. maybe. Okay, good trucking up that first blood. Nisha picks up the rune. We find Tofu. He's level six. This is a big kill. We'll give first him a shadow charge. So they might still run at Ace, and they're pinging it out. Ace immediately needs nothing. I mean, gap close wise, Liquid are relying on Monkey King plus X Mark. 
Well, I use the Monkey King now, considering the Wukong's command, but realizing he doesn't need it. Now the sniper's shown his face, though. Wukong's to catch out Tofu. A bit more magic nuke here from Nisha. Uh -oh, Turning on to Quinn. Quinn. He's in there trouble. There we go with the Illuminator over the top. The sniper joins the fight and loses his life. Meanwhile, 3-3 is holding back Duraccio and Celery. So power as well being cliffed. There's a catapult on uh, him. They but know. It's funnier if it's but just the melee He should TP out. I think he should TP out as soon as he saw that scan connecting. Quinn. He's not getting out of this one. Well done by Tofu. Holding his lift. Making sure he's in position here. To absolutely secure the kill. Not even wasting the mana on it. The bottom lane. And there's that Orb of Corrosion that I mentioned. The lifesteal, the healing is not going to be there. If you have Spirit Vessel on you. That's uh, a lot. That's 45. And then you have 20% coming out from Orb of Corrosion. Jeez. Coddle is one mean hero. Solar, but I max out the sidekick, have armlet, be tethered up to Io, have that insane attack speed, have the healing. We haven't seen it in action yet, but it also does allow you roar. On the monkey. McKay with a boundless strike under Wukong's. Getting disposed around. Insania, though, has this false promise, and the life skill out of the Jingu might be able the to keep the heals are coming alive. out. He's Tons got a back of heals. full HP. Illuminate Jingu, he's back to full, jumping onto Quinn, the Solar Bind is in, and Quinn is dead, blasted off the face of the map. Gaming Gladiators again lose two core heroes, and a repeat of game number one, Celery. The Torrent doesn't clip him, but the Brambles will, all stuck and held in place. As Team Liquid, two games in a row now, top lane and bottom will take bottom lane, bottom jungle, enemy ancients on both sides. Oh, take Mickey, the mid lane. He's, he's going for enemy XP rune. The TP Cobalt. on Cobalt. Co oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Rubik does get the Wisdom Rune. The relocating onto Mickey now. Oh, dangerous times for Liquid. The reactions and responses from Gaming Gladiators. Very strong move from this Io and Marcy. Nisha and Sainted trying to get away with a blinding light to push them back. And relocate out of there as they... Torrent stolen. That was so close. I think he was slight. Like, he needed like 0.1 seconds to be able to get it. It Both? was very close. 33, still going to go deep here to try and oh, find Tofu, the but, Oh, the Illuminate from more long heals. range. Gandalf and his white horses down the river, taking one down, but 33 is deep behind enemy line. He's disposed and killed as Insania. Might be the straggler that's just left stranded here. Gaming Gladiators have got the movement speed and the catch to chase him down. He's not going to ulti himself. Just die and accept your fate. Try heading into enemy ancients again. I'll leave Quinn. that to you. You are using the words such as pendulum recently. <laughs> Swing the pendulum. Oh no, Quinn. Yeah, He's trying to TP out. Gunka. Brambles. Oh, got that control. was such a nice play. I don't think he would be able to get out, but this uh, blinding light, I almost said Dyer's vacuum into right, Torrent actually hit. Who, who are they going to find? Ace. That's a big target. Boxy. Roar on top of him. Let dies immediately. It does get peeped. 3-3. A three, three. X mark on the IO and Kotal TPing up to this top lane as they torrent and slice into the IO. Duraccio trapped in the Wukong's command as well, trying to break away from it, rebounding over the top of Rubik, barely surviving. Quick. They see the Marcy and the IO. Who have they gone for first? X mark in the boat, I think, on Duraccio to drag him back in. No, it's Ace. Beastmaster, tornadoed. Hurricane away from danger, but Mickey will come in and claim the life regardless as Celery. The second point of contact for Mickey to clean up, jumping over the trees, and from the canopy he gets the Gleipner down onto this Marcy. Oh, you're the not Torrent battling. Storm. Oh, Marcy's down, even past the force field, offering no protection for gaming gladiators. More. Well, Whoa. maybe, depends. Uh, Patch is dropped mid April. Tofu. Bramble May stolen afterwards, keeping them <laughs> inside the Wukongs. The Rubik statues do literally nothing. Monkey King is going to move forward and Wukong's from himself trying to force Tofu away, drag back into the grasp of Liquid to claim his life. To have ages, but they don't. They're just exactly. pushing all these heals. Beastmaster down to half HP already. What can and he do? Look, if he gets the jump, a boundless, he's dead. Two man hit with a boundless. X mark now on the sniper. Bow's going to land. Io's dead. Gaming gladiators. I Can't thrown. I think they're done. <laughs> I don't think they that there's comeback in this game. There's no. I can't wait to see the socials after this. And Game Gladiators have been having fun with the, the old dumpster gifts. We'll see what Liquid brings to the table once they've swept through this. 
And another chance here with a roar onto the Monkey King. Gaming Gladiators have just lost Quinn. Sniper oh, down. Poor Antarctic back. three of Both them. Gone. This false promise gives Mickey so much confidence. He salved up by Insania to go back to full HP as well. All the crest they on the Kunkka as well. Off. Obs on high ground. Gaming Gladiators trying to wrap around with Duraccio and Celery. They see the Rubik first though. Duraccio, he gets in, he but the, the Shadow off. is there. Boxy gets the hide away from this. Marcy now turning on to 3-3, but they've lost the IO. Buys back, the save comes, and Senior keeps them all alive. Ace dies, and Quinn in trouble. Gaming Gladiators getting dunked down by Team Liquid. GG!